everyone. Good day. I am Michaela Michez Viva, your student nurse for today's assessment. I am going to demonstrate the procedure in which I think is quite familiar with you. It is by measuring your body temperature. There are four different ways on how we can measure our body temperature. It is the oral, axillary, rectal, and tympanic method. So we are going to start with oral method. The first method that we are going to do is the oral method. We will just be needing a alcohol-based tendril, gloves, tissue, cotton balls, digital thermometer, and pen and paper for our recording. So in procedure number one, we will going to identify the client and explain the procedure. To perform the procedure to the right client and reduce the apprehension on that procedure. So ma'am, good morning. I am Michaela, your student nurse for today. I am going to check your body temperature. Is that okay to you ma'am? Okay. Will you cooperate ma'am during this activity? Yes, I will cooperate. Okay ma'am, thank you. So we are going to proceed to procedure number two. It is to assess the client's mouth to determine if there are oral lesions present. So ma'am, may you take off your face mask, please? Thank you, ma'am. Will you open your mouth, ma'am? Thank you. So after checking the mouth of the patient, if there are any oral lesions, we are going to proceed to procedure number three. It is to gather the needed equipment. It is to promote efficiency to the healthcare providers. So I have already shown to you the equipment needed for this activity. So we will now proceed to procedure number four. It is to wash your hands to prevent the spread of microorganisms. In this stage, I am already done in washing my hands, so let's proceed to procedure number five. We're going to put on our gloves. It is to prevent possible risk of contact to secretion. So after putting on our gloves, we are going to proceed in procedure number six. It is to ask the client if she has taken hot or cold liquids or if she smoked. Okay, so ma'am, have you drank hot or cold liquid so far? No ma'am, I just drank on one water. Okay, thank you. So are you smoking ma'am? No ma'am, I don't smoke. Okay, thank you. So the purpose of that is, is that if we are ensuring that the temperature reading will be accurate, Okay, we are going to proceed with procedure number seven. We will wipe and dry the thermometer before use with a cotton ball with alcohol from bow to the stem in a firm twisting motion. Wiping the thermometer removes dirt, chemical solutions, and the cotton ball with the aid of frictions help in drying the thermometer. Okay, so after cleaning and wiping our digital thermometer, we are going to proceed to procedure number 8. We are going to press the button and read the thermometer. Holding the thermometer at eye level facilitates reading that can be read best. Okay, so it's working well. Let us proceed to procedure number 9. So in procedure number nine, we are going to ask the patient to lift up her tongue and place the bulb end of the thermometer under the directed towards the side and instruct her to close the lips tightly. 
Okay, ma'am, will you please open your mouth and lift up your tongue? Thank you. Close your mouth, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so as we proceed to procedure number 10, we are going to leave the thermometer in place until audible sound occurs. It is to provide sufficient adequate time for recording the temperature. So as we proceed to procedure number 11, we will go into read the thermometer at eye level for accurate reading. So as we proceed to procedure number 12, wipe the thermometer with alcohol balls. Let it dry to and return it to the container. Wiping removes organisms and prevent contamination. Okay. So we will wait until it is dry. Okay. Hmm. So as we proceed to procedure number 13, we will discard the contaminated cotton balls in an appropriate receptacle to reduce the spread of microorganisms. In procedure number 14, we will wash our hands to reduce the transmission of mi microorganisms. We're going to remove these gloves and throw it to the trash. We're going to wash our hands. So, we will go to proceed on procedure number one. We will go to identify the patient and explain the procedure. To perform the procedure to the right client, we will explain the procedure to the patient to reduce their anxiety and fear. Thus, in this way, I am promoting cooperation to the patient. So, hi again, ma'am. I am Mikaela, your student nurse for today. I am going to check your auxiliary temperature. Is that okay to you, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. Okay, so will you cooperate during this activity? Yes, I will cooperate. Okay, thank you. So we will proceed to procedure number four. We are going to wash your hands to reduce the transmission of microorganisms. in sitting position. It is to provide easy access to the axilla. In procedure number six, we will going to move the clothing away from shoulder and arm to expose the axilla for correct monitor placement. So we will go with these gloves. Or the better access for your axilla. 
So, after that, we will go to proceed to procedure number 7. It is to wipe the thermometer from valve to stem in a firm rotating motion using cotton balls with alcohol. So, this is our digital thermometer. It is to remove the chemical solutions, dust, or dirt that may irritate the skin and prevent the spread of microorganisms. As we proceed to procedure number 8, we will go to press the button and read the thermometer, holding the thermometer at high level to seal its reading that it can be read best. So it's working well. So we are going to proceed to procedure number 9. We will go to raise the client's arm away from the torso. Insert the bulb into center of the axilla, lower arm over the bulb, and place arm across the client's chest. It is to maintain proper position of the thermometer bulb against the blood vessels in the axilla. Leave the thermometer in place until audible sound signal occurs. It is to provide sufficient time for recording the temperature. Okay. Procedure, we're going to proceed to procedure number 15. It is to assist the client in replacing the clothing to restore the sense of well-being. So, I'm going to bring it back now. Okay. In procedure number 16, we will go to sanitize our hands using alcohol-based tendril to reduce the transmission of microorganisms. We will go to remove our gloves. So in procedure number 17, we will go into record the result and it will serve as a baseline for healthcare workers. So that's it for the auxiliary temperature taking. Thank you. We will go into proceed in procedure number 2. We are going to perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. So we're going to wash our hands for this activity. Identifying the patient ensures the right patient receives intervention and helps prevent error. So for today's activity, ma'am, I will go to check your tympanic temperature. So are you going to cooperate, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. We will go to proceed with procedure number four. We are going to ensure that tympanic thermometer is in a good working condition. Any available tympanic thermometer. So for its substitute, we are going to use this digital thermometer instead. Improperly functioning thermometer may not give an accurate reading. So we're going to see if this is working well. Okay, so it's working better. We will go into proceed in procedure number six. We will go into put on gloves to prevent contact with blood and body fluids. So we are going to use this medical gloves. After we 
put on our gloves, we will going to proceed in procedure number seven. We will going to assist the patient in an assuming position with head turned towards side away from the studenters. It ensures comfort and exposes the auditory canal for accurate temperature and measurement. So, in this moment, we will go into. So again, in this moment, I don't have any available tympanic thermometer, but as a substitute, again, we will go into use this digi digital thermometer for this demonstration. So let's proceed on checking the tympanic tem temperature of our patient. So as we finish, we will disinfect the thermometer to remove microorganism and prevent contamination using cotton balls with alcohol. So after that, we will going to wash your hands to reduce the transmission of microorganisms. Last but not least, we will going to report the abnormal findings for appropriate intervention. Okay, so after that, we will going to remove our gloves and we will going to wash your hands to reduce the transmission of microorganisms. That's all for my return demonstration about body temperature assessment for the oral method, axillary method, and tympanic method. Thank you for watching and God bless.